Kukaki, once a quiet neighborhood in the center of Athens. It has now become one of the most popular in the world, according to Airbnb. Thousands of tourists arrive here all year long to get a taste of the real Athens. But to accommodate visitors, many residents are virtually driven out of their homes. Stella Papadopoulou, who has been working in Kukaki for the past 14 years, has heard many stories. I know owners who ask families to move out to use the apartment for Airbnb. They said they need the apartment for themselves, which was not true. Families with small children left their apartments. They could not find anything else close and had to move to other regions. Vangeli Sideris owns a driving school in Kukaki since 1976. He sees red skyrocketing, residents moving out and his business facing real threat. If a student comes here to look for a small two-bedroom apartment, the owners will ask for a thousand euros per month. Who can afford that? In a few years, the small businesses will have no residents to work with. In Kukaki, over 80% of all properties are given to short-term leases. In places like Hanya, Rhodes Island and Corfu, this percentage exceeds 90%. Platforms like Airbnb started as part of the sharing economy. The whole society was supposed to profit from it. There is no sharing economy. It's a gold mine that acts like alternative economy. When it became obvious that there is a lot of money in it, the damage was already done. Neighborhoods became attraction sites like the center of Barcelona, in Paris and in London. Research firm Grant Thornton recently conducted a study on the impact of the crowding out effect. They concluded that the ones affected are the most vulnerable. We must realize that there are people that really need long-term rentals, low-earning employees, families with children, single-parent families, people that cannot afford to buy a house. The study showed that platforms like Airbnb have caused a 10% increase in rents nationwide. Let's get an update this morning uh, from Simela. She's in Athens this morning. Morning to you, uh, Simela. What have uh, the property owners in that uh, neighbourhood that you were talking about in your report, what have they been saying about all of this? Well, the property owners say that you cannot really accuse somebody for trying to make a legal profit when an opportunity arises. Airbnb and platforms like Airbnb were not available uh, some years ago, but now they are here. They are the new trend and uh, people have to adjust. And uh, property owners really found a way out of the crisis because uh, everybody knows that uh, Greece has been uh, hit uh, really hard by recession and the economic crisis and uh, that was a very uh, difficult uh, that was a very difficult situation especially for property owners that had to deal with the extra taxes uh, on their properties during this period so Airbnb gave them actually a way out a way to make amends for all the re revenue they lost uh, uh, throughout uh, the years of the crisis. Uh, plus, they say that uh, people have to adjust to the new situation, that if you cannot rent uh, an apartment, uh, for example, in Kukaki in central Athens, which is pretty close to the Acropolis, maybe you should try to move a, bit, a little bit out uh, of the center. And um, uh, they do say that uh, they contribute to the economy uh, because uh, these platforms and um, the way they work uh, nowadays, they bring uh, extra tourists to Greece and uh, they, uh, there are data that show that, show that uh, almost 1.9 billion euros come into the economy thanks to uh, short-term uh, leasing platforms. So what they say is uh, that uh, people just have to find a way to deal with the new situation.